Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. In today's video, I'm going to unbox my latest Franklin Planner haul. I'm so excited. So Franklin Planner sent these to me. Um, so yeah, let's uh, dig into it. One of them is the Vintage Aurora. Oh, the smell. This is the classic in the Blue Mirage. So if you've watched my unboxing, of um, my uh, purple plumera in classic and the blue mirage in compact you will have already seen the beautiful color that this is so i asked for the blue mirage in uh, classic because i wanted to have it in both colors oh they are so gorgeous okay let's open it up so it has the magnetic strap enclosure which I really, I like these straps versus a snap because there's a lot of room. So if you want to stuff it really full, you have a lot of room and it would take a lot for this to come out of place. Okay, so this is real leather and you can smell it. It smells divine. Ugh. Okay, let's take that, pull that out. One and a half inch rings paper dust here so you have your two pen loops on either side pocket on the left secretarial pocket zipper which is so smooth and one two three four five six seven business card holders including the window okay two page lifters are included and it has the full width pocket here and here and then the two smaller pockets here and on, then on the outside it has this pocket here for convenience so if you just want to put stuff in there papers that you need for you know quick access it's there and I love the rings in uh an aunt um vintage aurora because they are so strong like this takes a lot of effort for me to use these to open and close. And then if I close it with the rings, it's uh, it takes a, a bit of a bit of a push. They're so sturdy and strong. Okay, so the classic vintage Aurora leather strap 1.5 inch rings blue mirage binder. And she's lovely. She's absolutely lovely. I'm just going to show you real quick. So this is my blush pink vintage Aurora that I've had since 2017. And I just want to show that this um, zipper is very tough. Like I have to hold with one hand and then pull. It's not as, like this is really easy, whereas this is not. It's very tight or something, I don't know. So I love that improvement with these binders. I rarely use the zipper um, in this one because it's uh, not as easy to open and close. Yeah, so just a side note, just a side note. So that is the Blue Mirage Vintage Aurora Classic. It looks from the top. I love the gold rings, the gold hardware. It's beautiful. Okay, so I also got these project management forms. I've been eyeing these for quite some time. However, on the website, you can't get a good look of what they look like. So I saw someone, I don't remember if it was on Instagram or YouTube. I saw somebody use these. Of course, I couldn't see detail as far as what how they use them or um, you know what 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 they had on them. But seeing them on there, whether again whether it be YouTube or Instagram, I was like, you know what, I am gonna get those because I manage a lot of projects. Wow, they give you a lot. So let's see here four of each of 14 forms. So you have 12 tabbed sheets with 
the specialized project management tab stickers to help you ensure all the details of your projects come in on time and on budget. So then you have key stakeholder interview, project in, uh, initiation, project task map, project planning, project team, project skills and equipment needs. So you're getting four of each. Wow, that's a lot. And there's 14 forms. So here are the, the stickers. So they have some pre-printed ones and they have some blank ones that you can um, write on there, whatever you want. So the options are personal, volunteer, home improvement. Definitely we'll use the home improvement. Work, definitely we'll use that. Community, executive, family, school, project teams, vendors, resources, timelines, budgets, brainstorming, blank project forms, active projects, and on hold. So those are some pretty good options. Okay, so we give you one sheet of those. And then here are the project task map. All right, let's take a look at this. I love that it's a fold out, lots of room. Okay, so on the very top, you can see that project title, project definition. Okay, starting date, target finish, actual finish, um, project expected results. Okay, and so that has your ABC for prioritizing and then to check it off once it's completed, the project task, task resource names, start date, target finish, actual finish, and then notes. And it looks like it's the exact same thing on the other side. I would say this is a good amount of room for one project. I like that. Do you, any of you have these? If you use them, please let me know how you use them. If you're on Instagram, I would love to see pictures. Okay, so we have four of these. And you know what? Four might not be enough. But we'll see what else there is in here. Oh, this looks interesting. Project timetable. So there's your project title project number, project manager, not sure what that means, maybe the person who's managing the project, but for me, because I'm an entrepreneur, it's going to be me, uh, time span by day, week, month, so you circle one, item number, check it off when it's done, prioritize, ABC, pieces and tasks, duration, predecessors, start date, target finish, actual finish, costs estimate, estimated, cost actual resource names and then target finish actual finish hmm how am I going to use this this almost looks like because it's not lined all the way across like this side it kind of confuses me it's the same on the other side let's see what the project initiation project task map this is project timetable. Yeah, project timetable, that's this one here. And this was task map. Task map, okay, so let's keep going and see. Hopefully it'll all make more sense as I go. So we get four of those. Okay, managing large, pro okay, I'm glad that they looks like they have instructions here managing large projects using the Franklin Covey planning system um, this introduction will help you to use the Franklin planning system to stay organized use specialized project management forms to deliver results increase your success with a proven system for having important information at your fingertips store organize and retrieve volumes of information without feeling overwhelmed okay so project management forms Okay, so I'll, I'll go through that and let me know if you'd be interested in a further analysis of these and how to use them. It might motivate me to figure it out and actually use them how they're intended. So project initiation, task map, project planning, project team, team assignments. Okay, use this form to identify and prioritize the specifications of this project. Okay, so you know that that might be helpful. I hope so. Here's the key stakeholder interview. Stakeholder interview questions ask, as you think about success on this project, tell me what kinds of things are important to you. Add anything else. Prioritize what is your priority for these things. This is cool if you're a manager, um, but this is also cool if you're an entrepreneur because you can ask yourself these questions. 
So key stakeholder, whoever that would be, and then what the desired results are, priority. Okay, so let's see, there's one, two, three, yeah, four of those. Project initiation, so project title, start date, target finish date, there's a date, vision statement, clarify the description of this project, purpose, description, desired results. Number two, prioritize the desired results, outcomes, accomplishments, and deliverables for this project and list them in order of highest priority to lowest. Review your stakeholders' desired results to help clarify deliverables. Review your stakeholders' desired results. Probably from this one. I feel like these are all, they all relate to each other. Compare the project vision statement with the SMART criteria, like that. And then project initiation, organizational strategic initiatives. How does this project support the strategic initiative of your organization? And then notes and preliminary approval to proceed to the plan stage. All right. So there should be four of those. Project planning. Okay, so project date, start date, target finish date, actual finish date, performance specifications. Man, that's small. Prioritize performance specifications, quality, scope, time, and cost for this project. Hotspots. List potential hotspots defined by key team member members. Oh, I need my magnifying glass. Okay. Causes minor adjustments, sacrifices the lowest priority performance factor, sacrifices the medium priority performance factor, sacrifices the highest priority and then causes total fair failure. Interesting. So hot spots here, and then here's the risk level. So they explained, I saw the hot spots on this. Where did I see that? Hot spots. Where did I see you? Hmm. It was over here. All right, I did see it. Did explain. Ah, here we go. Under project planning, hot spots. Hot spots are a part of every project, and this form helps you identify and evaluate the risk of each hot spot. Okay, so it doesn't tell you what the hot spot is. So I'm going to have to do some research. If you know, let me know in the comments. Okay, and then on the back project planning, so managing hotspots, refer to the risk levels you identified in hotspots and complete the following action plan. For each hotspot that is a risk level of three, four, or five, identify the following. How can we avoid the hotspot? If we can't avoid it, what is our contingency plan to reduce the risk? Who's responsible for managing this hotspot? So hotspot action to take by whom project pieces. Okay, so there should be four of those. And then we have project team. There's a lot here. Project title, date, identify the key team members and stakeholders for the project. Who's the project manager, phase leaders, team members, stakeholders, phase, and then notes. So there should be four of those. Project skills and equipment needs. Project title, project manager, phase leader, date, project major piece, phase, work completed by, required skills, Pieces, tasks, skills required, experience level required, vendor, resource, possibilities, cost estimate. So this could be good before implementing a project just to kind of do a brain dump. Um, and then on the back, equipment and supplies. Okay. Four of those. And this is project team assignments. Project title, project manager, start date, target finish, actual finish, pieces, task, tasks, description, due date, hours, and then check off when it's done. I wonder if that's hours spent on each one. Same on the back. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, that's a different one. Meeting planner. Date scheduled, meeting title, meeting purpose, desired results, location, schedule time, actual time, meeting cost, start, stop, total, start, stop, total, 
meeting method, meeting type, facilitator, recorder, group leader, timekeeper, attendees, that's cool, agenda, items to be discussed, um, logistics. So under attendees, the role has an asterisk down here, it says attendee, facilitator, timekeeper, scribe, et cetera. So who, who are, is the attendee? Are, are they a facilitator, a timekeeper? So you would just indicate that there. And then on the back, delegated tasks, person responsible, and the deadline, spot for notes. Did we achieve our overall goal? What could we, ha what could we have done better? So oh, this says review and assessments. That's cool. How do we establish and maintain focus? Did we use effective methods? How can we improve? Were the right people meeting in the right roles? Nice. Nice. So you can have that to refer back to if you think about doing that project again. See if it was worthwhile. Information record. So name, organization, address, business phone, mobile, email, website, date, conversation, notes, follow up. I actually have, they sell these separately. I wonder if they sell the rest of them separately. But I have a bunch of these and I use these in my business tab and I use them in my team tab. So when I have conversations with my team members, I just document that here so that I can refer back to, yes, on such and such a date, we talked about this. You committed to this or... I committed to this, whatever the case may be. But um, yeah, so I'm in interested to learn how these are relevant to the task management. Project change request. Complete this tool if the change meets one or more of the following criteria. The change is estimated to cost more than, the change moves the schedule by more than, and then the change alters the original project vision statement. Project title, date, description of the change, describe the proposed product change or project change, list the reasons for the change, identify how the change will affect the following project elements, schedule the cost, the resources. Does the change affect the original project vision statement? If yes, how? Describe the effect of the project if this change is not made. Accountability, person making the change request, stakeholder approval. Okay, interesting. And then an evaluation. That's, that's cool. So the title, project manager, start date, finish date. On a scale of one to five, rate the following areas to describe your project. So visualize, plan, implement, and close. That's really cool. I like that. So you can really analyze and make sure if it was worthwhile or if it wasn't worthwhile. Problem analysis. Project title, project manager, project project start date, finish date. Identify the statement from the project evaluation form on which you scored the lowest for each stage. Visualize, plan, implement, and close and write that statement below. For each statement that you identify, write possible solutions to improve that area on your next project. Cool, so that will come from your project evaluation. So problem description, solution suggestions, problem description, solution. So visualize, plan. I wonder if that was here too. Yep, visualize, plan. So your visualize part here, where you scored the lowest, what was the problem, and what's your solution. And then here's the plan part. Implement and close. I like that because it's solutions focused, not just this is what didn't go well. It's like, okay, what's the solution to that? I'm a solutions focused person. I don't just focus on the problem. I'm always thinking of the solution. So this speaks to me. Prioritizing multiple projects. Identify, it, identify the need or opportunity that this project will meet. Explain how this project supports your organization's mission, vision, mission, vision, values. List the general resources this project will require. Create a statement of return on investment. Cool. Vital, important, optional, and worthless. That's your project priorities matrix. You know, the thing with the Franklin Planner system, I find it so deep and there's so much to learn. Okay, lots of note paper. And then here you have your tabs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 tabs. Okay. Very interesting. Again, if you use these, please let me know. I would love to know how to use them. They fascinate me. I love organizing projects and that just fascinates me. Okay, next up. 
You may wonder why I have two wire bound planners when you know that I'm a classic, well, these are classic, these are half letter, but I'm a ring bound planner. I got a planner for my daughter and a planner for my husband. Okay. So my husband, if you've been following me in my plan with me's, you know, hang on, hang on, hang on. That I got these from Coffin Paper in my subscription box. No, I think I ordered these separately. Anyhow, what I would do after I do my plan with me for the week is I would write down what the week is. I didn't use these for the day. I use this for the week for Ryan and the top priorities for the week and then any notes. And then instead of schedule, this was like the days of the week and what our, our, what our non-negotiable appointments are. And he loved it because he would cross it off as he gets things done. And if I forget to do one of these, like he's lost. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get him his very own planner. So this is what I got him. The textures, it starts in January. I love that it has this clear page protector. So it's a January to December. And it's very neutral. This could be great for a man or a woman, but I think it, uh, I think this one he's gonna love. So it's called Textures. You can put his information on the front. It has the three year calendar. It has a little cheat sheet here on how to use the um, prioritized daily task list and how to prioritize your tasks. I think this would be so important for him. So it has your 12 months together. I love that it has a to-do list. So instead of like a master task list, it's like, what do I need to get done this month? And then monthly notes on the back. That's really cool. And then on the bottom, it has the previous month, the current month, and the next month. And then here's your month. They are lined. You got a spot for notes here. Very simple. And the textures along the top. So it's good. It's very simple and to the point. There's no distractions. This is really cool. And I like that each quarter is the same color. Yeah, they're the same color. So red, kind of teal, green, blue. I think quarterly with my business, so this makes sense to me. I wish all of their tabs did that. So that's, oh, that's nice. So th those are your 12 monthlies. So again, I love that. I love the to-do list at the beginning of your month. You can separate it for business and personal if you want, or if this is just a business planner or just for personal, like just everything that needs to get done in the month. And then notes after, or it could be a continue to-do list. Okay. Oh, and they come with a page finder, which is important. Okay. Now there's a note page and then you get into your week. So this is the layout. I don't know what this is called. It's like a week or later. It's not timed. Um, and Ryan is not a timed kind of person. He's more of a task person. So this would be good for him to just, as throughout the week, what needs to get done. And if there's specific appointments, he can just write them in on the day. I mean, that's how I visualize him using it, but obviously he'll use it however it works for him. Okay. So this is interesting. I'm wondering if this note page is meant to be for this week and then this note page is meant to be for this week or if it's this note, it makes sense to me to have your week here. All of your tasks and notes here and then here's your week. So you can see what you have going on and then you flip, same thing. So let's see as we get to February how that looks. Yeah, I think that you can. I think that these can be together. That's awesome. And I like that the colors match the tabs. So that you know you're in the first quarter once you're in the red, and then when you're in kind of the teal color, you're in the second, second month of the first quarter. So this has a complete your system. You, if you get Frank and Planner inserts, you know that those are included in all of the um, inserts. Okay. So, so this is March 21st to the 27th. Then here's your note page. Then you have a note page on the back, which I don't think the others did. Oh, look at that. 
tight. So you have one, two, three, four note pages before we go on to the third month. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. April. Yeah, that's just kind of random because it doesn't do that for May. Let's see for June. No, nope, it goes right into June. Okay, and then after June, you have a few note pages again. I love how neutral these are. Okay, so yeah, that's interesting. So maybe it's like every two months. June, there's July. It goes right into August. Okay, right into September. Uh, nope. Right into September 25th. Yep, yeah. and then you have your notes again. So then September continues into October 2nd. Okay. November. Read into December. And you have your note pages again. It goes to January 1st and then it's done. Interesting. Then you have your special days on the back. And then your future planning for 2023 and 2024, observances and holidays, address and phone. And that's it, and that's your back cover. That's pretty cool. That's the textures planner. So I'm gonna go to the first week of January and put this in here. Oh, maybe that's too high. This will be better. I love it. And it's cute and compact and something that I know that he will use and carry around with him. So that's the Textures Weekly. And then I got this for my daughter. It's an academic, well, not really academic. It starts in July till June. My daughter is in her second year of graphic design school and she needs uh, organization. We tried a weekly timed planner for her last year and it just did not work for her. So I got her something that was pretty and feminine, the Her Point of View Planner. So again, it has the frosted page protector. Um, her Point of View, so July to June, so pretty. I love, I love the tabs. I love the different colors and the fact that it's kind of in cursive, summer in cursive. I love the font. So she can put her info there, a cute little quote. After all, Ginger Rogers did everything that Fred Astaire did. She just did it backwards and in high heels. Oh, that's so, that's awesome. Your three-year calendar, the cheat sheet on how to prioritize your tasks. Okay, your page finder. And this one has an index. So you'll notice the textures did not have an index. It had a to-do list. So that's cool. And you, she can use this as a to-do list. I can't imagine her, I mean, she might. I don't know how much information she needs to refer back to. But um, here's the monthly calendar. And just to compare this, it feels bigger here. Yes, it is because there's no textures along the top. It's just the month and the year. So it looks like you have more room to write. Shall we measure? Let me grab a ruler. Let's do inches. So one full inch. And this is one and three, oh God, what is that? One and a half inches? I think, yeah, yeah, one and a half inches. So these are much bigger. Love little picture on the bottom. Master task list for personal and business. For, so for her it could be personal and school. And then it starts over again with the next month. I love the different colors and it matches the, actually, no, that's pink. That's more orange, but whatever it's pretty nonetheless okay so you've got your 12 months together and then put this aside and then before your week starts you have a notes page so this has a different layout than this one so this is she can put her tasks in here for the day and check them off as they're done um she can put her maybe her tasks on one side and then her her class schedule on the other and then a spot for notes on the bottom for the whole week. I love these quotes. These are going to be so good for motivation for her. Oh, look at the pretty colors. 
So this just goes week to week. There's no note pages in between. August 2nd to the 8th. So she obviously won't be using July and August because those are past. But she will start here. Yeah, so it just goes week after week after week. Looks like there's no note pages in between. Goes right into the next month. 31st, that's her birthday. She's born on Halloween. Yeah, it goes right into the next month. Okay. Really pretty. Nice and colorful. Very motivating to open. So once we get to the end of June, then we have notes page. So two notes pages, special days, future planning 2022 and 2023, holidays and observances. More notes pages, so that's good. It's going to say two pages. That doesn't seem like enough. Wow, quite a few. Good. Weights and measurements, world map and time zones. That's kind of cool. Medical record, address, and phone numbers. And that's it. That is the Her Point of View Wirebound Planner. Yeah, really cute, really cute. Can't wait to give this to her. She can start using this right away. So I'm gonna set it up for this week for her and give this to her so she can start planning away. She started classes today and she already has her first project assigned. So this will come in handy for sure. So those are the textures textures and her point of view wire bound planners. So if you're more of a task based planner and you don't need all the fancy inserts and all of that, these are great options and they're not as expensive as spending money on the binder and the inserts and the dividers and the dashboards and all of that. These are just simple planning. That's it. Nothing else, just planning. These are really cool. I love these. I love these. Okay. So that is my haul. Where did I put my towel? Oh, here they are. So I had the project management forms, the Blue Plumera, uh, <laughs> Blue Mirage Classic Franklin Covey Vintage Aurora, the Her Point of View um, Weekly Planner, and the Textures Weekly Planner, both wire bound. Okay, so thank you for watching, you guys. And let me know, are you a ring bound planner or are you a wire bound planner? I would love to know. And for 15% off your Franklin Planner items, if you're interested in getting any of these or just anything on the Franklin Planner website, use my code buy, sell, plan, and save some money. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like some more functional planning videos from me. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.